amosi kanyo ni oyaore oimore kata misawa kamora mora ma intie kawuono en tarik piero ariyo kod auchiel dweno mar ariyo higa mar gana ariyo kod piero ariyo kod ariyo good morning good afternoon good evening wherever you are welcome to today's lesson today is the 26th of february 2022 kawuono somo dwa dhi e weche mag hulruok so today we want to talk about introduction adwa hulorani adwa uloranu i want to introduce myself to you or how to properly introduce yourself kaka inyalo hulori so you will see that on my screen i have a slide that's how we typically do it in this uh, channel we have we do have a slide and on this slide we try to put in a few issues that you can do before we proceed i would like to ask that you please go and subscribe to our channel now if you go to the youtube channel you'll go you can also join if you join you become a member if you click on join you can be able to find three levels of joining you can join as a bronze member that is you pay 100 $1.99 per month or a silver member you pay 4.99 a month or a gold member you pay 9.99 a month the reason we are looking for members is because our big goal is to start producing videos that are fit for children and we want to buy some software for that so if you want to support the channel if you want to support the course please join and help us out so today let's talk about introduction and we shall talk about whole rock adwa ulora no so when you get to a place and you want to introduce yourself you could just say adwa ulora no i want to introduce myself to you okay so what does it mean you can start with your name and for your name it's easy because you just say nyinga n then you mention your name for example you can say nyinga n atieno so that means my name is atieno so you can just insert your name right here nyinga n atieno there are ways that you can introduce yourself besides talking about your name for example you can say angeora gi nying mar atieno angeora gi nying mar atieno so this essentially now introduces you as i am popular as so and so okay so i am popular as atieno um many people know me as atieno so that might mean that their their official name is not atieno but everybody is calling them atieno so they'd rather just stick with that okay so angeora ginying mar atieno would mean i'm popular with this name i'm popular with it it might be that they are called atieno but they are popular with that name atieno okay so nyinga and atieno my name is atieno angeora ginying mar atieno i am popular with the name atieno secondly you can also introduce yourself by saying an ilwonga ni onyango now the reason i've i've, I've uh, underlined the word an is that it is unnecessary in, in this introduction you can just say ilwonga ni onyango but many people say an ilwonga ni onyango so this is like saying me i me i am known as onyango you see but you can just say ilwonga ni onyango we shall understand when you say ilwonga ni onyango okay so at this point you say ilwonga ni onyango i am known as onyango 
when you get to a big gathering many people do not uh, just say their name instead they say instead they say ka arao enyinga iluongani onyango they say some sentences and then you say then you hear them saying ka arao enyinga iluongani onyango okay that is when ka arao rao means you're branching off to some place okay so when i branch off to talk about my name then my name is onyango okay let me see if this thing is okay I was just checking that my chat is working. Please send us chats. Please give us likes. Please comment. Share the video with your friends so that they can also benefit from the lesson. So in this case, you can just say ka arao nyinga ilungani onyango. Another thing I want to say is the way we write luo and the way we talk sometimes are different because when you say when you write, you will write it as ka arao enyinga. But when you say, there are some some of these syllables that get lost because they will just say ka arao enyinga. You see, if they say ka arao enyinga, that means they they removed this a, they removed this w and o. They removed this o. Sorry. So they'll be just ka arao enyinga. That's all. That's all you'll hear. But this is what they mean. Okay. Margaret Kalori, thank you for liking the stream. Karawe nyinga ilwongani onyango might be different from the way you hear it being said. That is why it might be a little bit different. Jeremiah wacho nang, honi kendo jo marawe nyingi go, duwa boka saidi. Nyingi kirawe. Yes, but but it happens. I mean, I, I'm just saying that what this is what is happening in the street, you know. So that's why I'm like, I have to teach you, I have to teach what is happening on the street. Thank you, Jeremiah. Good. Now, my age. Remember, you have talked about your name. You have now you want to talk about your age. And and also I want to give a mini lesson on the numbers. Because that will give you an idea of your age. If you this if you're watching this video for the first time in this channel. We've talked about age like a thousand times. We can still talk about it anyway. This channel is meant for people like you. So, I am, um, I'm 17 years old. Will be Anja Higni Apargi Abirio. And how does this come about? I will tell you quickly how to count. And then I will bring 17 into the picture. So, Achiel 1, Achiel a rio, a dek, a nguen, a beach, a uchiel, a birio, a boro, a chico, a par, a par gi a chiel, a par gi. Now, from 12 through 19, you will repeat a par gi and then you just repeat the number. If it's 12, you repeat the number 2. So, a par gi a rio, 13, a par gi a dek, 14, a par gi a nguen, 15, a par gi a beach, like so, like so. Just keep going like that. And then at 20, you will say Piero a rio. At 30 through 90, you will say Piero a rio, Piero a dek, Piero a nguen, Piero a beach, Piero a uchiel, all through to 90, where it is Piero o chico. Okay? So let's look for your age. Your age would be 17. And 17 is like 10 and 7. So you will say, A par gi a birio. So if you're 25, it would be, Piero a rio gi a beach. So 20 and 5. Piero a rio gi a beach. And that's how you get your, your age. So you have said your name. And now you have an idea of how to say your age. So we can move on to something else. Okay. So what do we move on to? Now I will give you a minute to take a screenshot of this page. Because this is very important. Counting is usually one of the most important things. Because dates rely on counting. People rely on counting. I mean you have to talk about counting all, all over the place. Okay. 
So just take a screenshot of this. And thank you so much for supporting the channel. Please tell this to your friends that we are, we are live and they can help us out. You know, we are looking for people. Remember I told you we want to get to... How many How many did we say? I said we want to get to 10,000 subscribers. So we are not yet there. And we are still waiting for the 10,000 of us. Good. I hope you've taken a video, a screenshot of this. And we can move on now. So let's talk about marital status. Marital status or king. King is marriage. King. You, there are two ways. If you have married, you can say. Now, it, be, it depends on whether you're a lady or if you're a gentleman. And now that we have uh, all these other genders, like all the transgender and stuff like that. Uh, we'll not get into that because we don't have that directly in the Lua language. Maureen Nekesa Asante for liking the stream. So, I'm a wife. I I'm a wife, or I have a spouse who'd say, "Ase kendo." Ase kendo. So kendo refers to a male. Male getting a spouse who is a female. So the word asekendo now gets to Irina Juang Erokamana Enya. Thank you for liking the stream. Kendo means I have a wife. I have a spouse. On the other hand, the kenda. Kenda. Kenda means it is the lady talking. So she is saying, I am married to somebody. So I have a spouse. When the lady says, I have a spouse, they will say, Ose kenda. But when a man says I have a spouse, he will say Ase kendo. Because it is the man who marries the lady. So that is, I, I hope that is a very good uh, differentiation. So when you say Nyinga en otieno Anja higni Piero ario gi adek Ase kendo. Okay? But the girl will say Nyinga en atieno an ja igni piero adek gi auchiel o se kenda. So I'm already married, okay? I hope this is very clear now. Boom. Now, sometimes they do not talk about o se kenda or a se kendo, especially if it's someone who has been married for a long time. Like if it's uh, like my mother's age, like, you know, someone who has been married for a long time, instead of saying Ase Kendo, then they will change the name. They will they will say, now if it is a if it is a lady, she will now say Atedo game. Atedo game. Atedo translates to uh, I have cooked or I am cooking. Okay? Atedo game. So instead of saying or say Kenda, they will just introduce themselves. My name is Atieno. Uh, oh, sorry, Nyinga en Atieno. Anja Igni Piero Angwen. Now, if you see like 40 year old, she would say Atedo game. She will not uh, put that that uh, that level of Ose Kenda because there is an age that once you have passed, or there is a a level that once you have passed, it will be a second, uh, or say a tedo game. Hey, Governor Engineer Sedanjoka, watch on Hey, good evening, everybody. I'm here now watching the Grateful Channel from Langata Wilson Airport. Oginola Lakeda. Big thanks, bro, of uplifting our vernacular. Erokamano Governor, Erokamana Inya, for supporting. Always supporting the channel. I love, I love your enthusiasm. In Katachieng Ma. I won't get any other comments. I'm very, very happy that you are supporting me. And everybody else, not just governor. Ji jo mabiro ga kain digi mbegi na gina kwambali tu. Gi like tu, gi like, gi like, gi subscribe, gi comment, gi comment. Iroru kama na inya. So the other way is uh, for the male. You see, this is the female. The female would say, Atedo game. So Atedo game means... My spouse helps from game. Game is my, like, that is where I'm 
my family. I'm making a family in game. Okay. But the male will say, Akendo nyar. So, Kendo nyar kajulu means, my wife hails from this place. So, I have married a girl from this location. Or this, now they will put a, 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 a clan. They will put a, a clan on, on, the, on, the, on, the, on, the, on the title of the name. So, Akendo nyar kajulu will now mean, I've married a lady from Kajulu. Or I've married uh, a lady from wherever it is. So, Akendo nyar kajulu. Atedo game or Atedo kajulu. So, if Atedo kajulu, it means I have married from Kajulu. Boom. Now, someone who is unmarried but is marriageable age is called Omundo. Omundo. Okay? Omundo. Someone who is unmarried or but is of marriageable age. I don't know what marriageable age is. So please don't ask me which age. Okay? So if you say, I'm not yet married or I've not been married yet, but in Omundo, you are an Omundo. If Pok Akendo, that is, you've not yet married, or Pok Okenda, I've not been married yet, okay? I've not married or I've not been married. If you're searching for a spouse, then you say, Amanyo Jaot. Amanyo Jaot. That means I'm searching for a spouse. I'm single and searching. You are an Omundo. So Omundo is a single and searching person of marriageable age. So, now, uh, you see, uh, once we are, I'm reading, but then I want us to connect all of them. You see, I want you to introduce yourself as an Omundo. So let's start from the name, okay? So you'll start by saying, Nyinga uh, en atieno, or Iluonga ni atieno, and then you'll say, Anja higni, Piero Ario kod Adek. I'm 23 years old. Anja higni Piero Ario kod Adek. And then you'd say, Pok Okenda. No. Pok Okenda. Uh, no, this one is for marriage. Now, Pok Okenda. That is where you'll say, Pok Okenda. Or you'd say, Amanyo Jaot. Amanyo Jaot is just be, if you're in an informal gathering or you know, in a gathering where people are having fun, then you just say "Amanyo jawat," you know, so then so that they know you're single. I hope this is very clear for you now. Now, the other thing I wanted to talk about is someone of a marriageable age can also be uh, be said to be nyako madit. So the word madit, madit translates to. The age is appropriate for marriage. Okay? So, nyako madate would be a lady who is appropriate for marriage or marriageable age. And as I, again, as I said, I will not say what marriageable age is. You, that one you leave for your own translation. And woi madate also is a, a, a man of marriageable age who should marry. Okay? Then you'd move on to your interests. So what would be your interests? Now your interests would be gigo ma ahero or those things that I love. What are my interests? Gigo ma ahero. And I have put a few of them here. So, so that, for example, if you say ahero tedo, then that simply means I love cooking. Ahero tedo. If you say ahero gweo adula, I love uh, gweo ring adula. Gweo ring adula is a what? Is a soccer. So I have a list here. I'm just trying to make it, bring it into the, the screen. Just give me a minute. I have a list of uh, items that you can think about, but also you can add on the comment section if you're th watching this video later and you're Whatever you love is not mentioned in the list. Please 
add it to the comment section and someone will be able to translate it and that's the way we grow the language okay so we just grow the language by doing that so let me see i will say that a hero this thing has refused to come to the screen oh there you go dancing is miel so we'd say a hero miel or a hero somo that is reading or a hero which i love jogging or running a hero wear so i love singing a hero wood i have traveling i love traveling a hero wood then i love joking or i love making fun making fun is called nyungo watch a hero nyungo watch a hero nyungo watch then i have i love cooking a hero tedo i love making friends a hero loso osiep I love riding bike, a hero riembo ndiga. I love ri riding motorbikes, a hero riembo apiko. So apiko and ndiga are two different things. And that is how you talk about. So I'll let this screen relax here for a, a little bit so that you just uh, understand the different things that you like doing. You can also take a screenshot of this so that it helps you out when you're introducing yourself now if i've not put whatever you love here you can put it on the chat box and then we can discuss it and we can translate it into the Lua language okay even if you're watching this uh, video later after the after the live stream you can always do that i'll just give it a minute and then we shall move on to something else. Miel, somo, ngwech, where. Of course, these are very little, uh, it's just a small list of hobbies, but you can add as many as you wish, and then we can always talk about them. What? Nyungo watch. Nyungo watch can also be angera. Angera is just like, I, I like jokes. Tedo. Tedo, this Tedo is not the Tedo for, uh, I said Tedo. Adika Tedo. It's not the Tedo for, for uh, marriage. <laughs> it is the Tedo for cooking. Then there is Loso Osiep. Then there is Riembo Ndiga. And then there's Riembo Apiko. I just put a few of them, just so that it gives you a starting point. But then you can always go on with it. Okay, now you move on to what you do or TG. What is your work? What you do? This is the last part of your introduction. Remember, you talk, talk about your name, talk about your, uh, your male, female, your interests, and then you talk about whether you're married or not, and then you talk about what you do. So, TG and TG and Japuonj. So, I'm a teacher. Or jago picha, that is a photographer, or ogul mama, that's a policeman, or jatwang nanga, that's a tailor, or ajuoga, that's a doctor, or jatuoyo, that's a nurse, and you can put as many as many as many work uh, work environments as you can, and you can think of them and put them in here. Also, if you put them in, please remember to just uh, translate them for the people in the comment section. That way they will know what they're talking, you're talking about, okay? And finally, finally, uh, when you're introducing yourself, sometimes you go through, like if you're introducing yourself in a, an informal setup, maybe it's a, a party, you might not talk about all this. But if you're talking about a clan, Uh, Andrew, a uh, female nurse would just be Jatuoyo Ma Mio. So female will just be the word Mio. So Jatuoyo Ma Mio would be a female nurse. Okay. So the word nurse is just Jatuoyo. So then female will just be Mio or A male would be Madichuo. But female will just be Ma Mio. Mio. M I Y O. Mio. Right, so the last part, as I said, is 
parents parents you uh, there's some kinds of introduction where you have to talk about your parents or you have to talk, talk about your clan especially if it's a clan based introduction and in that case you will say jonyuol ga gin that means my parents are and then you will talk about your parents at that time so when you say jonyuol ga gin then you start saying who they are because jonyuol is my parents or you can say janual na n my parent is if you only have one of them janual na n then you talk about your parent you can take talk about their name their age what they do what they love and then you can talk about your siblings if you have siblings you will say owete ga kod nyimege na gin so owete na kod nyimege ga that is my my siblings are so and so and then you will start talking about your siblings so with these many remarks i hope that this is a very nice video for you that you can come back later to watch for introductory purposes and just get some feedback i've not completed everything so that you can I mean do the part of the con uh, completion by yourself. So just look through the uh, video and the part that makes you uh, introduce yourself the way you want is the part that you'll use. I hope this makes a great 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 video for you for future reference. So again as I wind up I want to again make a call that we want to start making videos for kids but it is very expensive to buy the software so we are looking for funds and the only way that we can get funds is through membership and there's a membership drive if you go to our video if you go to our channel let me put our channel up here if you go to our channel this is the channel right there you can see we are live right now now if you go to the channel you can always subscribe now i cannot subscribe because i'm already in the channel but you if you subscribe you can also join to be a member the reason we are looking for memberships to join is because we want to make videos for kids and uh, we are hoping that if we get some little money we can be able to make these videos and uh, pay for the software because the software charges every month and right now i don't think i have the funding enough to do the the video i i can do the videos i have the ideas but i'm not able to do the i'm not able to support the software for the months that i want to use it because i'll be using it for every month like maybe five or seven videos a month for maybe 10 months and i'm not looking at i don't have the resources to do that so if you want to join if you want to support even if it's one dollar 99 cents that is about 200 kenya shillings please click on the join button and just give us a 200 we shall put them together and then we shall make the we shall be able to support the channel so that we move to the next uh, level i hope this appeal goes to many of you and please consider subscribing to the channel as we are looking at see see where we are right now i don't know whether you can see this but this is 5.97 subscribers that is we are about 30 subscribers shy of the 6000 mark so please if you are one of the people the 30 that is not yet subscribed don't let us down don't let us down with those many 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 remarks i want to end this video at the 30 minute mark and say thank you for watching and god bless you see you tomorrow oriti aneni kendo king Kinyuaromo kai. We meet here tomorrow. Waromo kai king. Waromo king. Boom. One more thing is that if you want the this PDF versions of the scripts that I'm writing, please send us an email. Or write on the comment section and we'll be happy to send it to you free of charge.